Tim Priester with Tim O'Malley, special guest Moose Krause here outside of Nordian Stadium, the 93rd annual Blue Gold game. Tim, we could try to handicap the game, which is always really yeah. difficult to do. I think it's more about matchups, and, and I've, I've got a couple matchups here that, that we can talk about, or, or passing combinations, quarterbacks with receivers. Uh, but the main thing is get through this healthy, uh, protect some players, which they will do along the way, especially Steve Angeli, because he's the only guy that's going to be among the quarterbacks that's going to be in a red jersey. Yeah, so you figure he'll play a little bit less, too, just for the competitive nature of it. Uh, Kenny mentioned that C.J. Carr can be hit. I personally don't believe C.J. Carr should ever be allowed to be hit, but that's okay. When you say matchups, um, I want to watch the tackles and the Vipers and strong side ends because I do attribute a lot of the jersey scrimmage sacks to communication issues, not just guys getting whipped. Well, now you're always going to have a backup tackle on the field against what I believe is the starting Viper, starting strong side end, all the way down to Bryce Young. So it's a really tough matchup, I think, for the tackles with the strong side end, especially I think Bryce Young's going to have a good day in the second half. Um, I look for the defensive line to win the day again because they're deeper than an offensive line, but that's the case everywhere in the country, especially in the spring. So guys like Donovan Heinish, I think, are going to be a guy to watch today, too. Yeah, you know, I mean, the defensive guys, they're accustomed to playing backups. Right. The yeah. offensive line yeah. is not accustomed to that. And talking about some of the matchups, uh, uh, Josh Burnham against uh, 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 yeah. uh, Burnham against Absher and or Wagner, uh, Traore against Jagasaw or, or Baker, usually it'll be on, the, on, on the, the left tackle side, but that can be mixed up a little bit. So that'll be interesting to see. One of the, the uh, combinations that I was talking about, Tim, was you know, Angeli has Chris Mitchell, Jaden Greathouse, which I think is a real key. Yes, as long as he plays, he's going to make plays. Yeah, and, and, and Jeremiah Love as well. So I think from that standpoint, as far as trigger man and weapons uh, advantage for, that would be the blue team. Yeah, I, I'm interested in watching Minchie in this game, though, too, on the other side, because he, he escaped a lot. Now, those were guys that are, are only allowed to tag you, so you have to slow down a little bit when you're about to hit Kenny Minchie. But Minchie got out of the pocket and gained a lot of yards. If you go back and look at the offensive practice report, you'd probably find four gains in excess of 13, one of 20. If he could do that again when he's live, that shows he, is, he has live legs. And I also want to see his arm because Gino Gadouli told us about he's that gunslinger mentality. He could fire it in there. It looked like C.J. Carr had the best arm of the team last week, but now it's a good time to watch to see Minchie in that yeah. level too. Well, Minchie uh, is going to be in the white jersey for the gold team, and he will be live. And we were talking about this before we started to record. You know, they're going to call sacks more readily with Angelo right, being right, in, right. in the red jersey. So, you know, maybe advantage for Carr and Minchie because they will be live. And if, if Minchie was elusive last week, last Saturday, he'll be even more elusive uh, in, a, in a live situation. But uh, his receivers, K.K. Smith, Micah Gilbert, I think uh, Cooper Flanagan could have a big yeah. day with him. But by and large, I think, you know, Angeli has the, the better group there. And then on the defensive side of the ball for for the blue team, Traore, Mills, uh, Oban, Bryce Young, you mentioned, yeah. and they have Kaiser, who will probably play limited, and then Bowen. So, you know, I, I mean, this is all total speculation. It's, it's hard to know exactly what the setting and scenario will be, but when you start looking at some of these matchups, I think, I think maybe a little advantage for the, the blue side. Yeah, you mentioned a lot of young guys with talent on that, that are, that are first-line players and, and a guy that can eventually be a second-line player in Bryce Young, because I think Guys like Drake Bowen are going to play a lot more than Jack Kaiser. Riley Mills is going to go out there because he didn't have a full spring with Howard Cross, and then he's going to get off the field. That just happens with these best players. RJ Oban, you think maybe he might get a little more time, but then again, Javante Jean-Baptiste ended up sitting out last year. So you don't know who's going to play as much. Um, it's funny you mentioned K.K. Smith because K.K. Smith and Michael Gilbert, this is the first chance for most Notre Dame fans to watch right. them at all. They never saw K.K. Smith last year. He made plays and snippets every time we watched practice, so he's a guy to watch today as well. And Mike Gilbert is just, he's going to be a very good receiver in Notre Dame, so this is probably a good situation for him to be the starting wide receiver on his team. And who has the advantage on the offensive line? I saw in your preview that you mentioned Sam Pendleton is on the gold squad. He definitely struggled with his shotgun snaps uh, a week ago, but also on that gold side is uh, Charles Jackson. Ashton Craig and, and, and Tosh Baker. So you have you have 60 percent of the starting offensive line there. Total speculation. We don't know how this is all going to unfold. But we know one thing: Justin Fisher from Mishawaka is going to score a touchdown today. Well, You're I right about I, that. I predicted that, and and I'm almost he's all, a load. He's a load. He is a load. Yeah. But I'm almost always wrong on predictions. <laughs> but I think. As things get a little bit loose in the second half and the fourth quarter, I think he has an excellent chance of, of scoring today. We'll see. That's it. Pre-game, 93rd annual Blue Gold game.